Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It is no longer news that actor Olaya Igwe was gifted a car by MC Oluomo and his way of gratitude has been condemned by a lot of people. A recent video shared by Kemi Afolabi as she goes live on social media. Olaya Igwe came in as soon as she saw that Kemi Afolabi is on live. She went ahead to invite Olaya Igwe and they spoke about how much of insult he has received from Nigerians after he showed gratitude by rolling on the ground and thanking God. Well, this is one of the reasons why it is best not to jump into conclusions when you see anything on social media. Most times, the intentions are not properly portrayed on social media. In most cases, people judge based on what they see. Well, from the angle and perspective of Olaya Igwe, he's rolling down and prostrating in front of MC was not for MC, but for God. He's thanking God through MC in his words, as he explained to Kemi Afolabi that there is no amount of insult he has not received after showing gratitude. He went ahead to say that a lot of people were telling him how he should show gratitude, that MC Oluomo is a younger boy to him and he shouldn't have prostrated or rolled on the floor. But in his own words, he said he is showing gratitude to God through MC Oluomo. In the light of this, Kemi Afolabi was surprised and shocked to hear the things Olaya Igwe shared with her on social media. She went ahead to say all she wanted to do was to congratulate her after seeing the post on social media. On hearing what Olaya Igwe had said, Kemi Afolabi herself attested and said she is also a beneficiary of the kind gesture of MC Oluomo. She further explained that if not for Olaya Igwe, who mentioned a thing or two to MC Oluomo, the next thing she saw was millions of naira in her account concerning her health status. She said so many of her colleagues have also gone out of their way to make her comfortable and show financial support. But most importantly, MC Oluomo is not a bad person as a lot of people paint him to be, as she is also a beneficiary of his kind gestures. Kemi Afolabi had gone ahead to urge Olaya Igwe not to pay any attention to people on social media as a lot of them really do not have anything to say and they are shallow thinkers. Olaya Igwe further explained that the way he showed gratitude has even opened up more doors of opportunity for him and that it was just as much as people were cussing him, calling him terrible names, good things kept coming his way. He said more jobs were coming in for him and to crown it all, an unknown person from the United States saw how much gratitude he showed and this person decided to gift him a plot of land. That if his way of gratitude could earn him this much opportunity, he might as well go ahead to jump from a tall place just to show gratitude. Kemi Afolabi who had gone ahead to encourage Olaya Igwe, stating that Olaya Igwe shouldn't pay any attention to them as people will always have something to say. You do good, they have something to say. You do bad, they always have something to say. And social media is not real life. She went ahead to give an instance of when she was very ill and it was at the time she came out about a lupus status she said a user had personally told her that since she has a house and land she should go ahead and sell it instead of coming to the members of the public to seek for fun she said she has received so many hate comment and hate speech but then she decided not to pay attention to any of those things well it is not just came here for labi who has shown solidarity and congratulated olaya igwe after he received a car from MC Oluomo. The likes of Jayakuti also had gone ahead to explain her own part and her own view on the matter at hand. She explained that one can show gratitude anyhow they wish and there is no special or specific way of showing gratitude to God. As long as it's God, you can show gratitude anyhow you deem fit. She went ahead to explain that a lot of people in the name of arrogance missed one or two blessings. She said if God ever blesses her that way, she would make sure she rolls on the floor and even do much more than that just to show gratitude to God. In our words, she said, you see, sometimes we humans don't understand. Sometimes when people or someone does things, people tend to look at them like mad people. You see, I usually pray for people and myself. There is something called unexpected blessing. You see, 
if God tests a person with unexpected blessing, you then know that there is no specific way to show gratitude. Let's say a younger person who is not up to me in age takes me somewhere and drops a house key in my hand and say, Jaye Kuti, take this house is for you. And I see the house standing. What do you think I'll do to show gratitude? Do you think I'll ask for an handshake and say, let me shake you to say thank you? Aside the fact that I will share tears of joy, I'm going down on my knees straight. Even though I am older than the person, I know how many times I've done something for my biological mother and she will say, let me kneel down for your creator. When God bless you unexpectedly and you receive such blessing as a shock, you'll know that one, you won't know how to show gratitude and you won't even put into consideration the person's age to prostrate or kneel down. You see, gratitude is a very powerful thing and a lot of people have lost it completely. Some people will say they'd rather die than bow to a younger person just because they are gifted a thing. Just die. Who know where their blessings are? You see, unexpected blessing, I pray God brings it my way. And anytime God does this unexpected blessing for me, I'll show gratitude as I ought. For those of you who don't know how to show gratitude, most of you are the ones who are opinionated. Some of you have never seen one million. Some of you have even never seen 100,000 naira blessing before yet you blame the person showing gratitude and insulting them and it's here by she lori to go to where your lush are corny level loan issue this was jay kuti explaining on our own part and our own point of view on the matter of olaya igwe olaya igwe on the other hand who said he has turned deaf ears what people are saying that there's absolutely nobody that can tell him this is how best he should show gratitude a lot of people assume that he is prostrating for mc oluomo but the actual truth is that he is prostrating and rolling on the floor to show gratitude to god for the blessing he brought his way through mc oluomo well the genesis of all of this was when a video of olaya igwe went viral on social media and this video was captured by mc oluomo's son Olaya Igwe was seen with MC Oluomo late in the middle of the night and out of the blue MC was seen pushing Olaya Igwe towards a car and dropping a key in his hand. It took a while before Olaya Igwe realized what was going on and immediately out of shock and out of happiness it went straight down and prostrated thanking MC Oluomo and thanking God for the wonderful gift. Well once again we say very big congratulations to Olaya Igwe. And guys, they have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.